we're talking to John Anderson. He's department chairperson uh, with the University of Arkansas, Ag Economics and Business. You look at uh, the processing sector, and, and again, I'll go back to the meat industry because it's probably the one I know the best, and, and we do tend to have uh, the scale of operations there. I mean that any, exactly. disruption, yeah. any disruption there has particularly large ripple effects because of the scale of those individual operations. To me, that's the one that uh, that there's the most uncertainty around. You know, what if uh, uh, there's a COVID-19 outbreak in the Southern Plains and the social distancing requirements are such that a, a, a major beef packer can't operate? Or in Northwest Arkansas, a major poultry processing plant can't operate because of because of a mandated shutdown or because just an inability to get workers in, uh, that would be a fairly significant supply chain disruption. Uh, again, I think we've probably got enough geographic dispersal that it can be managed, uh, but the local effects of that kind of thing could be significant. Again, you know, the, the beef industry gives us a kind of a ready-made example. If a, if a Texas panhandle beef processing beef processing plant has to shut down because of COVID-19. What is that going to do to the fed cattle market in the Southern Plains? What is that in turn going to do to the feeder cattle market in the Southeast? Uh, we know it would have a major negative effect. Uh, so those are the kind of supply chain disruptions that uh, that I think we're working to minimize. It's hard to look at the fundamentals that are shaping up right now and not seeing it basically being negative for for, for beef and, and really for for protein more generally. I think poultry probably fares a little better. Chicken fares a little better because they've got more product at, uh, at the lower price point and consumers that are concerned about their job security or that are already out of a job are going to be looking for low price alternatives. Okay. Uh, so I think that's the shift that we have to anticipate. This whole thing, this whole dynamic of people sheltering in place and being at home and eating every meal at home is really changing food consumption patterns. And, and again, that's primarily going to be a short-run phenomenon that's very different from the, the long-run question of what is this doing to demand overall in the aggregate in the long term. Now, I think we have to be really careful talking about demand and what our expectations of demand moving forward are, it is really difficult for me to look at, uh, you know, 3 million jobless claims in the report two weeks ago and 6 million jobless claims in the report this week and think that demand is going to hold up, particularly for beef. Uh, demand has been good, and I would say exceptionally good in the very short run because everybody is stockpiling. There's a lot of right. panic buying going on. There's a lot of meat going into freezers. That's not the same thing as demand increasing. We're just pulling we're, – we're basically borrowing from the future right now in terms of, of, of meat demand in general and beef in particular, I think. And so uh, that has given us uh, – Again, as, as as everybody is working to fill their supply chain up as much as they can, that's given us a pretty strong market. Down the road, I think we have to anticipate that falling off pretty rapidly because, again, I don't think – I don't see anything in this situation that gives us a durable increase in demand. I actually see it giving us a decline in demand, but we're borrowing from those future periods right now, and that can be deceptive. So that's part of what's going on in the calf market, right? That those prices are anticipatory. We're looking at those animals being being beef five months from now, six months from now. The situation then is extremely uncertain, probably more uncertain than I've ever seen it in my career. So that's part of why there's not just a you know a massive rally in 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 that market right now. 